Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals. It's the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord. Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Glory, hallelujah. Father, hide me behind the cross. There'll be none of me but all of you. Speak through these lips of clay, and everybody leave here singing, I got just what I wanted. And more from the Lord, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Pastor Michael Smith, God bless you. Glad you could tune in today for this live broadcast. Amen. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I'm going to wait for a few more people to tune in, and we're going to get started momentarily in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. There's so much I can't wait to share with y'all today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. If you got your Bibles, turn me to the book of Ezekiel, the second chapter, verse one and two. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to entitle this message A Revelation of Pre Pentecost. A Revelation of Pre Pentecost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you an amazing fact that you may not have known. God wants a relationship with you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's not about a religion. It's about a relationship. Living and loving the one that died for you and me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and said, me upon my feet. Then I heard him that spake unto me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now he told him, after he had this encounter at the irrigation system of Chabar, he began to speak to the man of God. And the man of God, the Bible said, fell face forward. He couldn't even look upon the one who was in the wheel, in the middle of the wheel, high and lifted up the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the very one who declares the end from the beginning before he ever starts it. It's already finished. Glory to God. Are you hearing me today? The apple of God's eye, the pre-incarnated Christ, was standing there in all of his infinite glory. Thank you, Jesus. You can't even begin to imagine what this man of God was experiencing at that moment. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But now, it, you got to listen to this. The Bible said he fell face first and God told him to stand up. And the Bible said the Holy Spirit, it says the Spirit, that's the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, thank you Jesus, amen. And the Spirit entered into me when he spoke unto me. Same Spirit that Jesus breathed upon his disciples and they received the Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me? Thank you Jesus, amen. The revelation of pre-Pentecost. This is pre-Pentecost taking place. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And the Spirit entered into me. Then he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. Without the help of the Holy Ghost, we cannot stand. In this time, in this day that we are in, we cannot stand without the Holy Ghost. We can't have revival without the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 
But God was giving the people and his own prophet an example of future events. That he wasn't just going to come and land on a few people and minister and be gone. He wanted to come and live within his own dwelling place. He wanted to make us the habitation of the Most High God. He wanted to make our life his home. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Paul said, it's no longer I that live, but it's Christ. That lives in me. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I'm dead and gone. You talking to a dead man, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. This ain't Henry. Henry done died and gone. Jesus is the one speaking through me now because he lives in me. It's no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. It says in the Bible, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead will quicken your mortal bodies. Amen. He lives in you and will quicken you. He'll quicken your mortal body. And the spirit gave him the strength he needed to stand. Amen. Sister Tanya, God bless you. Glad you could tune in. Hallelujah. God bless y'all. Hallelujah. Amen. Brody, God bless you. Adam, God bless you. Amen. I love each and every one of y'all watching the video. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If y'all get a chance, please share. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But he had an encounter with God. That's what it's all about. It's about having an encounter with God. It's about a relationship. It's not about religion. Religion cannot do it for you. It's about a relationship with the Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And without the help of the Holy Spirit, we can't make it. And that's what he's showing us right there when he said the Spirit of God entered into the prophet Ezekiel and stood him up on his feet. Remember what happens to the two witnesses when they die and are resurrected during the tribulation. The Bible said the Spirit of the Lord comes into them. God breathes breath into them and they rise to their feet. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, we can't make it. You might be going through a mess right now. You may be feeling like there's a personal hell you're going through that nobody else could ever understand, but I'm telling you something. It says in the Word of God that He was tempted with every temptation that is made known to man. It says that He's tempted with every sin and every temptation that has ever befallen a man, but still failed not. God became one of us. God loved us so much, He became one of us. Now, why did God become one of us? Thank you, Jesus. Love you too, Brother Zobi. God bless you. Amen. He became one of us so we could become like Him. He said, I want a relationship. I just don't want somebody just speaking for me. I want them to know me for themselves. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He said, I want them to get into a relationship and know me and walk with me. He even said in the Word, he said, I will live in them and dwell in them. They will be my people and I will be their God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So he's saying, I'm going to have a relationship. I'm looking for a family to be with. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, who created everything, wanted one thing created for him, and that's a family. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. I know it says all things were created by him for his glory, but one thing God really wanted for his glory was a family. He said, I want a, a communication between me and them. I want them to know me. 
I want to express myself to them. And he made us in his image that we might have a chance to know him. People tell me all the time, prove to me that there's a God. Look around you. The Bible said that the creation of the world declares his existence. It declares he is here. The sun didn't rise by itself. It had a hand in it. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you this, my friends. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah gave the qualifications for a prophet. He said, who is, who is a prophet? Those who have stood in the counsel of the Lord... Those who have been called by God, he's personally invited them in to sit with him in the council of heaven, and he called them to be his representative. You could not be a prophet unless God invited you into the meeting hall and asked you to be his representative. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But just like today, we got a lot of profitable prophets. They see a prophet in prostituting their gift. So they go out and prophesy for a wor over a word so they can get a little bit of money. And they're prostituting the power out. And we wonder why we can't have church no more. We wonder why we don't see what we saw in the book of Acts. We wonder why we don't see what we heard about in the Azusa Street. Why? Because the church is prostituting God's power. Don't tell me if God writes you a check. If you write a check, then God will heal you. God cannot be bought. If God could be bought, then the rich should own him and the poor could never afford him. But he said, blessed are those who are poor in spirit they're going to get it all baby they're going to get to inherit the kingdom they're going to have everything God promised them he said blessed are the poor in spirit they're going to be made rich in him let me tell you something thank you Jesus I do believe in giving because you're supposed to sow where you grow. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But at the same time, the gospel is to go freely. You are not to charge for somebody to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. He said, freely you have received. Freely give. And, and look at this. There was a man who saw the Holy Spirit coming upon people when the prophet of God laid his hands on them. And he said, oh, let me buy this. He tried to prostitute the power of the Holy Ghost. He tried to, to provoke God and by God who owns the cattle on a thousand hills and his, uh, and his freeways up yonder are made of gold. You can't buy him, honey. He owns it all. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Josh, God bless you. Glad you could tune in. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God heals for free. God delivers for free. God saves for free. Though it cost him everything, you ain't got to pay for nothing. All you got to do is say, yes, Lord. I accept my healing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. See, let me explain something to you. Did you know that a will of somebody alive, the living will, does not go into effect until after they are dead and gone. After they die and go into eternity, then the will is made effective. Then it's legal. Until they die, it's a piece of paper with a promise on it. Are you hearing me? But when Jesus said, Totelestai from the cross, it is finished. He signed in blood his own name to the will of the Father and said, now they can come into covenant. Now the old covenant's finished. Thank you, Jesus. Up until the time the Spirit came down in the book of Acts, we were still under. Until the time Jesus cried, Totelestai, it is finished. Thank you, Jesus. 
until he cried that from Golgotha's hill. We were still bound by the curse of the law. But the Bible says he hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. What is the curse of the law? Man's inability to keep the law. But he's redeemed us from the curse of the law. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. He said we still got to push the plow. But he makes the road easier to hoe a little bit. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, there's still some bumps in the road. Yeah, there's still some times where we're going to sweat. But let me tell you something. He said, just follow me. I've already laid out the path. If you'll just follow me, you'll make it to the end. And you'll look back and receive the harvest once you've done the race. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, I hope somebody's getting something out of this one. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's right. Run the race, brother. I just said that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. There's a lot of people watching me today that feel disqualified in the body of Christ because they're a woman. Oh, my. Well, could God really use me? You're a Baptist sister. You're either watching it now or later. You're watching me. And God says to tell you, do not be discouraged, daughter. For I have called you. There's neither male nor female. But we are all one body in Christ Jesus. He said in the last days, your sons and your daughters would prophesy. That word prophesy in its deep-rooted word means to preach. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen, sister says, Lord, I, loud I hear you. <laughs> Amen, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen, thank you, Jesus. We are all one in Christ Jesus. Totelestai. It is finished. The law is complete. Not done. Complete. It ain't done away. It, it is completed. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus fulfilled everything. And everything we need is found in Jesus. Amen. This person that was speaking to Ezekiel was Jesus, the pre-incarnated Christ, the one who was and is and is to come. Thank you, Jesus. Are y'all hearing me? He's the one that was and is and is to come. Yeah, I didn't realize that I had to turn my mic down. It was getting a little bit too loud. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. I hope somebody's laughing about that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I love it. I love the people on here. I really do. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, we hear you, she says. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, sister. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Amen. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. For they are impudent children. They're, they're disobedient and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. And they, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear it, or they ignore it, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. All the way to Oakwood. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. Anita Williams. Hello, everyone. Please pray for me. All right. I pray for favor in the name of Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Still making key. Oh, okay, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. 
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But let me explain something to you. If you make yourself available to God, He will use you. Amen. Can somebody say amen to that? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs> if you make yourself available to God, He will use you. Ezekiel, Isaiah, here I am, Lord. Send me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Isaiah was prophesying woes to everybody for the first four chapters, but when we get to Isaiah 4, he's prophesying woe to himself. And he says, For I am undone in the presence of the Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. But this was a revelation of the promised Pentecost. This was a revelation of pre-Pentecost. This man of God. We read where the Holy Spirit came upon priests and prophets of old. But this man had such an encounter with God and was obeying the word of God. That's the second part of Jeremiah's word. Who has stood in the counsel of the Lord, who has heard and obeyed, what they have heard from God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. But I want you to understand something. Thank you, Lord. I want you to understand that God can use you Male or female. Thank you, Jesus. God can use you. All he needs is for somebody to make themselves available. Thank you, Jesus. That woman at the well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the share, Anita. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But look at this. Jesus used the woman at the well. She was somebody that everybody in the church would have disqualified. God said, I need somebody to go. And she said, I, I'll go. I'll tell everybody about you. That you're the Christ. And she went and he got his glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, my Bible and yours says that the women were there as well, not just the men. And they numbered around 120 altogether. It says around 120. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. There could have been a little bit more than that. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But it says that there was around 120 people on the day of Pentecost. Now, 400 and something people, 400, heard him say, be there on the day of Pentecost. He says, be there in this upper room. But only 120 something came. 120 showed up out of 400 that heard him say, come. And I'm going to fill you with my spirit. The word endowed. He said, I, you, he says, you will soon be endowed or endued, sorry, endued with power from on high. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. That word endued means to be clothed with power. We're going to be clothed with power from on high, wrapped in his righteousness, wrapped in his glory. Thank you, Jesus. And when the Father sees you, he sees the blood applied. He sees the blood of Jesus and he, he sees his covenant. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. When John first encountered him, he had never seen Jesus until that day, but he had already had a previous encounter with Jesus. In Luke 1, 41, the Bible said that Mary came and Elizabeth heard the salutations, heard the news that Mary was pregnant with the Messiah. Let, let's just go there. Thank you, Jesus. Luke 1, 41. Thank you, Jesus. I hope somebody's getting blessed today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutations of Mary, that the baby, the babe, leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Even before he left the womb, he was already baptizing in the Holy Ghost and fire. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Because the Bible said when John starts talking about him, he said, there stands one among you whose sandals I'm not worthy to unloose. Hallelujah, Jesus. And he said, he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. Thank you, Jesus. If you want the Holy Ghost, you got to get to the Son. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said, nobody gets to the Father except through me, and nobody can come to me lest the Spirit draws them. The three are one. Amen. The Trinity, the triune God. Amen. The triune God. Yes, I believe absolutely in the Trinity, and I believe they all work as one. Thank you, Jesus. One Father, one Son, one Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I do see you, brother, and I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. Zobi, right now, I pray for peace for you and for your wife in the name of Jesus. Father God, I come against the spirit of oppression and depression anxiety and grief and I thank you for the peace of God that surpasses all understanding the joy of the Lord to be their strength in the name of Jesus amen amen and amen thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah Holy Ghost amen see God didn't just save these women on the day of Pentecost and fill them with the Holy Ghost to go home and wash dishes no he filled them with the Holy Ghost to go out there and spread the word of God Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. They were walking in miracle signs and wonders too. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that Paul arrested men as well as women for what? Preaching the gospel and demonstrating the gospel. That, that The women wasn't just preaching. Huh. They were praying for people and they were getting healed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. I give God all the glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But people try to hold people back in the church. We've done a good job of that, haven't we, in the church? Like, you know, Jesus said to the, to the priest, he said, you hold the secrets of eternity, you have the keys to eternity, and you shut the door in man's face. He said, they come to you, Asking for spiritual leadership, spiritual guidance, and you close the door on them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. People are hungry for the Word of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But he said he will baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire. Let me tell you something. John was the first Baptist to dance with the Pentecostal fire. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He was Baptist, but he was born a Pentecostal. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's why he, he told them, he said, there's one coming that will baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire. How did he know about the fire? Because he already had been burned by the fire of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost already got a hold of Brother John. And he, woo, Jesus, hallelujah, Lord. He began to shout when the fire got on him. Thank you, Jesus. That's why I can't help but shout because I've been touched by fire. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. You might say, ouch, oh me, or something. You know, you might, woo, glory. You might cry. You might shout. You might run down the aisle. You might start sweating. You might start praying in another language. But you're going to act some kind of way when the Spirit jumps on you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And in you, for that matter. He came to live in His people. The Bible said that He came to tabernacle with us. The Word became flesh and dwelt. That word dwelt is tabernacled. 
he became flesh and tabernacled with us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Have you had an encounter with Jesus yet? Have you had an encounter with the Holy Spirit of God? Has he called you into the office that you're standing in? Have you been called into the council, the assembly of God? to do a work for God, but you've been running. Today, it's time you run no more except into the arms of Jesus and stop running from Him. Pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe you died on the cross, that God the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, wash me, cleanse me, Fill me with your spirit that I might make heaven my home. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Just like with Mary and Elizabeth, if God had no problem with a woman carrying his living word, he's got no problem with a woman carrying his spoken word or his written word. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. You know why the women got to preach of his resurrection before the men? The Bible said the women went and told the men that Jesus had risen. They got to preach about the resurrection before the resurrection was preached by the men. Why? Because the women believed God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. They stayed and hid like little cards. The men did. They like, oh, you can't see me. I'm behind the door. Oh, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. But when they got the Holy Ghost of God inside of them, the men learned how to man up. My Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. You cannot be a true man. You can't be a man of God without the Holy Ghost. He'll show you how to man up in the Spirit. Praise the Lord. He'll pull you up by your bootstraps and say, Come on, get up, son. You're, you're better than the way you're acting. Do right. I mean, he loves you, but... Sometimes God knows we need to have a little bit of a on our backside. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He, he knows sometimes we just need that little, mm, get up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. He's a gentleman. He'll lightly push. He'll lightly, he'll lightly lead and lightly guide. But sometimes after you get born again, sometimes the Lord knows you need a good kick in the pants sometimes. And God will send the right people in your life to get you in line. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. When I'm acting crazy, God has my sister let me know that I need to get things right, that I need to act better than I'm acting. And I thank God for her in my life. Brother Barry's the same way. They'll they'll stand in agreement with me in prayer, but also there's times when I need a good kick in the pants and they're there to help me with that too. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And that's how it should be. That's how it should be. The Holy Spirit's leading them. He's leading me. And we're helping each other. Iron sharpeneth iron. You can't do it without each other. You've got to have the Holy Ghost. And you've got to have those around you that have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I love everybody watching. God bless you. Thank you for watching in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. I love each and every one of you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If you prayed the prayer of salvation, write to me. I want to send you out a certificate of sonship. Our for revival at yahoo.com. I want to send you out a certificate of sonship. Just send me your address. I'll send it out to you in the mail. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Second of all, if you are sick in your body right now, I don't care what infirmity you've got going on. In the name of Jesus, I curse every spirit of infirmity, every bit of inflammation, every bit of every bit of trouble in the bones. I command a total creative miracle right now because by his stripes you are healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. John knew him in the crowd. But he didn't know who he was because he had never laid eyes on Jesus 
until that day. Even though they were cousins, they never laid eyes on each other. They lived in two different parts of the place. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But yet, when Jesus got in the crowd, Yeshua got in the crowd, the man of God recognized him. He said, there's one that stands among you, one whose shoes I'm not worthy to untie. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. When you have a real encounter with God, you never forget it. That's what I'm trying to show you right there. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You will never forget a true, honest-to-God encounter with God. When you have a real encounter with God, it will change you forever. Thank you, Holy Ghost. John knew him in utero. Are you ready to know him? Like I said, if you pray that prayer, you just you just met him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You and Jesus have been properly introduced today. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for healing everybody watching in the name of Jesus. By your stripes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Right now, I stand, I stand in agreement with Sister Susan. Father, whatever she needs and is standing in need of, I just thank you right now for a miracle from the throne room of heaven, God, in Jesus' name, right now, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you for creative miracle from the body part rooms in heaven, in Jesus' mighty name. New backs, new spines, new ear canals, new eye gates, new ear gates, new mouth work dental work in Jesus name I just declare it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hey Uncle Danny God bless you I love you hallelujah thank you Jesus glory to God amen praise the Lord thank you Jesus But now, if you're bound up by anything, no matter what it is, I curse every devil of bondage in the name of Jesus. For he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. Nahum 1 9, according to the the word of God, the attack cannot return a second time, and the Bible says in Revelation, we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Word testimony means get out and say it again. So get out and say again what God has done for you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I charge every issue in the tissue be healed, and in the name of Jesus, I charge every addiction receiving eviction by holy conviction in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I declare them free and free indeed in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, finally, Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. If you've received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, but you need a refreshing of it. There was a video that I did last week. Last Sunday, a sister gave her life back to Jesus after being backslid, and Jesus filled her with the Holy Ghost. She began praying in other tongues while watching this video, this last that that video thank you jesus if he did it for her he wants to do it for you he wants a relationship with you it's not about a religion like i said it's about a relationship living and loving the one that died for you thank you holy ghost i love you lord jesus amen thank you jesus amen hallelujah jesus i love you lord Somebody got free there. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But now, if... Like I said, Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. You need the Holy Ghost if you're going to make it. Especially in these last dark and wicked days, you need the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. He's the Spirit of truth. He'll never deceive you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He said in the word of God, he said, you will hear a voice from behind you saying, this is the way. Walk in it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 
He's the guiding compass for a weary soul. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Do it now, Lord Jesus. Do it now. In the name of Jesus. Baptize everybody in the Holy Ghost and fire. Refresh them, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Fire. 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 Washing of the water of the word. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you got saved, healed, set free, delivered, filled with the Holy Ghost and fire, you got mightily touched. Please share the video and write to me. Let me know what God's done for you. Our for Revival Ministries. Thank you, Jesus. Or our for Revival at Yahoo.com. We want to celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you desire to give, you can now do so by going to your cash app. Go to Cash App and watch, uh, go to Cash App and type in cash tag, Our Full Revival, your love gifts, large or small. Keep helping us bring the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ around the world. Not just here, like I said, but around the world. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. If you'd like to get a copy of my book, you can do so by going online at Amazon.com and typing in McFearin or typing in my name, Henry Robert Kidd, K I D D. You can get a copy of my book. Every gift you give, even toward that book, will go back into working together with the ministry. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. There's been souls being saved, sick bodies have been healed, people have been delivered watching these videos. So if you Love this ministry and you've been blessed. Help us keep coming to you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Please subscribe to me on YouTube if you ain't a subscriber yet. Uh, go hit the like, the bell notification, and subscribe and share the video. And you'll receive more videos like this. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord. Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I love you. God bless you. See you in the next meeting or in the air in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm claiming a new client. Yes, in the name of Jesus, let it be for your glory, God. In Jesus' name, send the people that way, her way, from the north, south, east, and west. Lord, I thank you that you're going to send the angels to bring them in, God. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, and amen. Thank you all for watching. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.